Welcome guys to yet again another video. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button right here. Just hit the subscribe button. And um, today I'm not focusing on this playlist here, which we'll be on. I'm not going to focus on this playlist for today. Okay, so what actually am I going to be talking about then? I'm going to be talking about something which I think it should be about a month now. All right, somebody either sent me a message or dropped a comment on YouTube. and um, the person sent me a link of a GitHub repo that contains some awesome best practices. So let me go here now. I have to fork that to my repo. So here, uh, let me look for that repo. Here we are, here's the repo, Laravel best practices. And um, I have actually been using this um, Laravel best practice to, you know, of late, I've been going through it and I've been you know, implementing it and stuff like that. And to be honest with you, I found this to be extremely useful, extremely helpful, makes your code cleaner. It's it's just wonderful. It's just wonderful. Even some of the smallest things that you actually neglect, like for example, here, it says a class and a method should have only one responsibility. And then here is bad when you return like two different actions. You perform this and then you return something. And here is the good practice where you just return this rather than having to perform an action here before you return. You can have a function that just returns, has another function that performs an action. Um, of course, there are times when you have to break things like this because um, best practices are usually subjective, all right? But honestly, I think most of the times you would need to be doing things like this. Like I'm um, here talking about a um, fat model skinny controller. So when you want to perform your uh, model actions, you don't do them in your controller. You do them inside of your model. So for some of you who have used Codeigniter before, you actually be quite familiar with this. And then in your controller, you then call your model. And then you make use of your models in your controller. But you've already done all the model actions. So um, when I came into Laravel for the first time, I kind of struggled a bit with this. But then most of the people I saw, both in the organization I worked for and the different people I saw coding or writing Laravel usually just put all their model, all their model actions inside of their controller function. And I just had to say, well, maybe that's the best practice for Laravel, but it didn't still suit me, go down well with me until I also found this. Okay, so um, I, I don't think I'll have enough time to go through every single thing here. Uh, you can just check my repo, uh, Frank505 slash Laravel best practices, or you can also go direct to the repo I forked it from. And then you can go through it, through it yourself. Like I said, best practices are usually subjective. Of course, there are quite a couple of, yeah, very few things here I don't totally agree with. And um, there are also some I was basically using before now um, that just helped me, you know, reinforce them. So guys, I'd like to encourage us to check out this repo, to get what we can get from this repo, to learn what we can learn from this repo. Uh, Laravel best practices and see how we can implement in our code to make our code clean, to make our code more readable, maintainable, and also to grow ourselves as developers because we are all growing. So guys, that's just it for this video. Uh, I don't think I have any other thing to say except maybe subscribe to my channel. I think that's all. Subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to shoot more videos. So that's going to be it for this video. See you next time.